Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Portal 2. Since I did the first one, it kind of makes sense to do the second one, don't you think? And since I'm still settling in after my move to the US, it's also a nice and easy Let's Play to make, just like the first one, so that works very nicely. Since Portal was an unexpected huge success, a sequel was kind of inevitable. This time, instead of a small game created by a small team, initially released only as part of a bundle, we have a major title with all of Valve backing it. The question then is, did they manage to keep up the quality, especially in the writing and humor? And did they manage to mix up the gameplay enough to keep it interesting for another, longer game? We uh, will find out soon enough, but in case you were worried, uh, the answer is definitely on the former and mostly on the latter. This is also um, the first Let's Play I'm making on a brand new computer, and since this computer is better and faster and harder and stronger... Okay, maybe not those last two. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, I should try and make 1080p videos. I don't know if uh, that's something I'll keep doing, because um, I don't know what it's going to be like in terms of quality and processing times and uh, file sizes and uploading times. But I'm trying it out with this Let's Play, and we'll see how it goes. It seems that uh, GLaDOS is not as still alive as we were led to believe. But let's see what happens when we play. And yes, there is actually a uh, multiplayer component to this. I do not yet know if I'm going to do that. Start a new game. Starting with the Courtesy Call, which is Chapter 1. It's always a good place to start, if you ask me. in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Apparently, we have to look up at the ceiling. Not the floor. Ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Okay. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is basically just teaching you the basic uh, movement controls, because after all, most of the last game was, uh, was a tutorial, so let's repeat that now. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Hey, yeah, don't be so uh, impatient. Although I can't see my legs and therefore can't verify that I still have uh, the leg braces on, I am in fact still playing as Shell. On the wall. Please go stand in front of it. And I guess this is where she was put uh, after being dragged back at the end of the ending of the first game, which was added as a, as a patch just so it could lead into this game. There's There's a a framed, this is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Very pretty art. Very pixely art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Very relaxing this way. Good. I like the now, mural, though. Now, please return to your bed. Okay, apparently that was it. So we now have to sleep. It's kind of bright outside. Can I at least have something to turn off the lights? I don't know. I guess not. We do have a microwave, and a lamp, and a plant in desperate need of attention, and a TV that we cannot turn on. Anything in the closet? No. Desk is like a hotel room, but even worse. Players are not allowed to go to the bathroom. Also not allowed to leave, but that does not surprise me. Oh well, I guess we'd better do what is asked of us, because there is no other thing we can do.
Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject. Are you going to open the door? At any time? To have exercised his or her Hello? This does not look good. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Uh, your dialogue is too funny well, to open, open the door. door. That's too of this message. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? And write us a letter. Could, Could be luck. Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... The Spanish is not fine. very good. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this the place lamp. is about to explode. What did they do to the lamp? How right, did look, that happen? Okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Hello? I mean, I can understand the plant dying if Hello. a long time has passed, but what happened to the lamp open and the, the, door. the door? Okay, I think most of his funny dialogue Hello. is finished, so let's ah. open. Ah. Oh, God, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Hang on to what? Fridge? What the hell? You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Well, as long as it's minor. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. That's not what space does, is it? Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say Apple. Apple. You know I work for Microsoft now. That word is forbidden. Simple word. Apple. Just say Apple. Classic. Very simple. Apparently I can't A speak. Double P L E. Just say well, at least Apple. you can spell it. Easy word, isn't it? Apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. That's an understatement. Ta okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Yo, How are you doing in hot there? water. You're still holding on. To what? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Well, the rest of them look Why? even worse than us. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. No. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. I'm gonna stand back if you're going that way. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. It's not the first one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. It says Get 500 ready? feet below. Ow. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one. How is that good news? Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Stand behind the bed. Almost there. 
remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay, yay, I'm a good jumper. That's the spirit. <laughs> okay. Wee. Can I jump back up there? No, apparently I am not good enough of a jumper for that. Well, I guess um, he's stuck on that railing, so he's not following us. And it's up to us to find the portal gun, because that is obviously what he is referring to. I don't think I'm spoiling anything. We seem to be reasonably close to the outside, though. I mean, there's plants and everything. Maybe we could just escape and ignore all this stuff. Good luck! Hello! And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded yeah, messages that's really important. will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two. One. It's a nice touch that the timer is uh, blinking 12. Even though it's a countdown timer, so that makes no sense whatsoever. And you may recognize this as the place where we started the first game. And now you can see that it is the same character we're playing. Or somebody who has the same awful taste in jumpsuits. It is the same character though. Radio is not playing. 85.2 FM has been silenced. Didn't I put you in the toilet last time? Or I'll put you behind the toilet now. And all the hazards are... What the hell? That did not do what I was hoping it would do. All the hazards are still the same, including the cake. That's actually another question to ask about this game. Will it have as many terrible memes as the last one? Fortunately, the answer is no. Okay, that's a portal. We've gotten that. Test Chamber Zero. Let's hope we don't have to do all 19 of them. Especially if they're in this condition. But I think we're gonna have to get started on that in the next video.